I close all this stuff. We are back with Phasmophobia. And we are back with Phasmophobia. And we are going to give it a second go uh, for Halloween. We're going to give it a second go for Halloween. Uh, because it's still got all this Halloween stuff. And it's just, it's it, it's it sets the mood, I think. <laughs> I think it sets the mood real well. It's a really fun one. So I don't think I can pick any of this up yet. No. Okay. I can, though, pick that up. And, again, look at all the little secrets. Oh, this is probably another thing that will get us... Ooh! <laughs> oh, boy. Guessing this will get us to... Ooh, ooh, there you go. Nope. <laughs> Those spooks around the place. Okay. We already checked that one out. Go away. Bunch of stuff. Alright, so, well, we're done checking around here. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, did I see something else, actually? Yeah, there's a ghost up there. They're watching us. Hello! Hello, ghost. <laughs> Hello. Oh, gosh. Just watching us up there. Okay, let's go ahead and do another mission. So let's do single player. Oh, we have our little hand up there. All right. Let's add all our stuff. And I'm going to try the campsite if we can do the campsite. I've never done the campsite, so I'm kind of curious. Um, I'm going to probably play it a little bit safe because I don't know exactly where our safe area is. 25 rooms. Three floors. Oh. My gosh, that's double the rooms. Long hunt period. I Maybe there's only one of us. So maybe multiplayer. If I can get multiplayer, maybe we'll do that. For one person, that seems like a lot of rooms to have to cover. I don't want to necessarily do the same thing. Do we do it anyway? Do we just give it a shot? Let's just check it out. Ready up. Let's start. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to give it a shot and see how that goes. I think that it will work out for us, I want to say. Not entirely sur sure. Alright, let's go and... Get set up before investigating. And remember to check the whiteboard for help. Okay, so there is a gate. There's been Ooh, no reports of boy. violence or sightings, but please remain careful. Has glitches now and then. Alright, let's go down here. Let's just put all our cameras back up. I think we're gonna be camera I think we're gonna be the camera crew this time. Because I don't I don't see it as being that realistic that we're gonna be able to guess the room that easily. I mean I guess because we're still not entirely sure about how ghost rooms work, temperature-wise. But we're going to just try. And if we can find out it's a ghost orb, and hopefully it's an easy ghost for a first try at this. So hopefully we get lucky. Let's open the door, because that shouldn't start the clock. Yep, it's not going to start the clock for us. It is dark. <laughs> it is sincerely dark. I actually kind of... Now I'm kind of curious. Oh, there is an entirely different type of display. Okay, and that's a three-story building over there. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab this. So it's basically a building in the sense of... We will be able to kind of tell... I mean, now, I mean, we can kind of have cameras just watch, can't we? Or is it that it can't be outside? Is that the, is that the, that might be the situation here. Is maybe, maybe the, maybe there can't be any ghost orbs outside. They've got to be inside one of the rooms, maybe. I mean, that'd be a, that would seem like a way that they prevent it from just being able to see it from outside. And also from it just being potentially anywhere. 
Now, I don't know if we can get us in the van. It might be able to kill us in the van. I don't know. This is out outdoors, so I don't see any reason why it might not necessarily be able to kill us in the van. So we need to be careful. Well, I really hope I, they don't. I mean, I, I like horror games when you have the ability... I'm not a huge horror game fan, but I do like horror games uh, having the ability of of being able to play stuff, like, uh, or not play stuff, but have safe areas. I like horror games that you can have safe areas. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I'm not a huge fan of these, and it's too relentless. I think that you, if you can turn the stress on and off by where you are, and maybe once, maybe, betray it, I guess, that in that case, but, like, with a good lead-up, you can, I think that, that that can make a pretty interesting experience, but I think you gotta be careful not to betray the, uh, the, the player-creator agreement. I always feel like there's a player-developer agreement in which you set up basically the rules of your world uh, based off how people play the game. And if you break that, it can make people very um, disheartened. Or feel like things are, or feel like they didn't uh, lose fairly, or think that they, uh, or think that there wasn't anything they could do. So I, I haven't had that trouble in this game, which is good. But it's just something to, to keep out for anyone out there that's thinking about developing anything. Or we do tabletops. We do tabletops. Big thing to pay attention. Mistake I've made early on, early on from switching from just having my family, from uh, doing tabletops with my brother. <laughs> to friends is especially if you have like iconic characters we call it that were from the other ones we call it they you call it, it's, they have gimmicks that the other people that maybe one per member of the group knows don't make that mistake it's a mistake <laughs> I'll tell you right now it can be fun but you have to remember that it's a group thing and for developers I guess that's the thing is, you gotta make sure that it's fun for. Maybe it's not just all, it's not all kind of inside, jokey or or kind of gotcha moments. Because some people really like that, but you gotta make sure that everyone kind of feels like they had a chance. There you go. So, I oh, can't take that. When I, if I threw down that flashlight, that would help us out a lot, I think. I, mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It might not be that important. Actually, now I'm kind of curious if we can chase us in the... I imagine you can chase us in the open of the camp. Campgrounds. I imagine the ghost room, even if the ghost room is restricted, I don't imagine that the other thing is. Let's put that there. Let's put this facing this way, if I can throw it facing that way. There we go. We have some light going in. Throw these down. Okay. Don't know if I'll ever find those again. Uh, you know what? I'll lead the candle. Oh, let's go ahead and get this. We need to know the ghost's name. The ghost's name is James, is James Miller. Okay, James Miller, we're coming to find out who you are. Okay. Click that. There we go. Let's find out who James Miller is. Okay, so let's go. Oh, we did, we could have grabbed some stuff. That was a bit of a mistake, but let's take that. Okay, 13. It's outside, so I don't know how temperature is going to work. This is going to be tricky. Ooh, gosh. <laughs> Jump scared by the, the, the... Oh, no, it's cold in here. But I don't think it's cold enough. Went down to 6. Went to 10. Seven. I need to check the other ones. Can I go in here? Can I go in there? Can't go in there. Okay. Oh, there, now we go. Seven. Okay. Six might not be enough. Eight. Yeah. I don't think. I think for any of these places, it's not going to be enough. You need to press like something. 
Okay, this is... There we go. Probably gonna have to go with, like, freezing, real freezing temperatures or something to be extraordinary. Bathroom. Bathroom at least had some temperature going on there. Uh, we are, I think... I think we've, I think we wasted too much time. I think this is a bust. I think this is a bust. I don't think, I don't know if they can even be in these tents. I don't think we know, we know what we, we're doing this campground. Wait, I don't know. Okay, I think, I think we, this is a bust. I think we tried the campground again. <laughs> but this oh, I'm gonna better try. I'm gonna try it just to see. Let's just put down some stuff. I don't know. Let's let's just try doing this. How about that? Oh. Let's see. Maybe that might work. Let's check how much time we have. I think we wasted too much time. Got a bunch of cameras. Two minutes, some okay, we actually have some time left. Let's just set up the cameras everywhere. Because we don't know where they can be and let's just hope it has photographic evidence. let's just hope it has camera evidence as a option here because there's no other way. We're getting this thing. We're just gonna put it in front of all the campground equipment. And if we can't get it there, we'll guess and we'll come back. And try to maybe not mess up. I don't know if it can be in the tents or if it can only be in the shack. Maybe? No, can it only be in here? I have no clue on where it can spawn the ghost room. <laughs> um, so I'm just putting them out there. Oh, two doors technically to open. I don't know how much time we have left to finish up. Let's check how much time we have left. I think we probably have like a minute at most. And Sanity's not going to be doing great in the campground because it is dark as anything. Yeah, we have exactly one minute left. We have two more cameras to put out. We could do one in every 30 seconds maybe? Maybe. Put one here. We're just gambling right now. We're gambling that it's in these tents. If it's not in these tents, I mean, there's 25 rooms, so I'm guessing the tents are each a room. I just don't think we have enough room to cover it. Okay, that just fixed that tent, did it? Okay, I'm leaving. Oh gosh, that scared me, dude. Okay, there we go. Okay. We only have 15 seconds, so let's check what we got here. We don't have any ghost orbs. I think we're really kind of messed up. Some kind of evidence. Why does it feel like I'm missing a camera? No ghost orb. Nothing here. When I mean, we can always check here, we gambled with that one. I, I think it's, we can't tell, I think the problem is the temperature. We don't really know how to fix the temperature. And we didn't know the map. I think that's the difficulty here. So there's a, so this is the entrance. We went to there. Which is I don't know what that's supposed to be, but then there's this over here. So we didn't go over to that building. And when we look at floors, that has that has three different floors. So may or or two different floors, right? And I guess this is a floor. So I guess it counts the whole campsite as a floor. And then there's a dock. 
You did get to see the campsite, though. That is something. You know, I might just go for a wild guess. I think we're just asking to get ourselves killed. I don't know this map. Don't really think there's not, not many a lot of places to realistically hide either. I guess in set, except in, in there, but maybe you can close up the tents. Hmm. I think we'll play it safe. I think we messed up too much on the beginning. We have high, high EMF. I'm gonna say that based off the EMF, it's something with the EMF. We're gonna use, we're gonna do a realistic ghost hunting experience. If you think that you're gonna get killed by a ghost, follow these instructions. If you did not find the proper evidence, <laughs> just guess, <laughs> just guess. Uh, I did not find freezing temperatures. And I get ghost writing, fingerprints, no, ghost orb. I did not see ghost orb. I thought I heard jumping. That's uncomfortable. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. So, let's see. Evidence. We didn't... When we get to start taking pictures by the door and see what that gets us, there's a chance that like we might snatch. A picture of it. Of evidence. <laughs> because I have found that sometimes I'll get evidence even though I don't really have a right to have. I walked in there for a second and got a... Okay, hold on. Do we get anything? Evidence. Photos. No. Nope. You can throw some salt by the door, I guess. Now we can tell if it walked by the door. Maybe catch evidence that way. What's his name? I mean, it is a definitely high EMF or something like that because it's activity since. Well, and activity might actually be based off of what's touching, though. I am not entirely familiar with that. Is there that? Isn't that poultry guys that can be tricky like that? Does it feel like that camera's staticky? Well, not staticky, but like stagnant? Hmm. Um, hard to say. I, mean, I think we just missed any... I don't think we got any ghost room. Don't want to waste too much time on it, but... Hey, what was its name? That wasn't... I wanted to say its name. Because that can annoy it. It's James Miller. James Miller, we're coming to to annoy you. James, oh, not outside, aren't I? James Miller, James Miller, James Miller. Do react? I don't know if we got that on. I don't know if we got that. Uh, I don't think the ghost hurt us. Do this. That way we can tell if they hurt us. James Miller, James Miller, James Miller, James, James Miller, coward, James Miller, <laughs> coward, doesn't that help, I think, I insulting it, I think. Spear box was just to see if it registered. Wait, did it affect the salt? I don't know if it affected the salt. Because it, maybe it went by where we were. Wait, is that a light on over there? <laughs> I don't want to go check that out. Do we have, don't we have a... We have a camera in all these tents. Oh, there's huge activity there.
Well, maybe it's that, like, it, it, the, it, the dot protector inside is getting effects. Uh, let's annoy it again. I think that's the, the, here, we can actually put this too down. There you go. A little sensor if it walks by. No parabolic mic. See if we hear anything. James Miller. James Miller. James Miller. Oh, yep, he came by. <laughs> oh no, that's us. <laughs> Never mind. That's our proximity. That's us being near. Set that down. We feel less victorious about that. There you go. Throw that in there. Throw that aside. We are using the things on that. Okay, so that should kind of help tell if something's there. I don't want to give up without getting any kind of evidence, but I think we messed up the beginning too bad. Too badly to fix it. Without going, just going in. And alone, like, if you have multiplayer, sure, but alone might be tricky with 25 rooms. I'm not that good. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are good. Probably not that good. I'm probably not that, as good as that. Oh, hold on, what is that? Speaking of, what is that camera of? That's overlooking... That's that camera on the... Okay. That's that. That's a camera actually inside the campground. That's that one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think it is. Uh, I'm going to just try to see if I can get evidence at the door. See how much I can get at the door. And I don't know what how far in is the door. Oh, I'm getting some sounds in that direction. All right, or is that myself? Throw that down. I think that camera's mess. Uh, not camera. Th this is messing us up here. James Miller, James Miller, come here. James here. J James Miller, <laughs> you coward. James Miller. I'm gonna just insult him at the door. We got nothing. Hmm. I'll put a candle out there, I guess. We're losing some sanity over time just by walking out in the dark. If we were holding a candle, we wouldn't lose any. Which might actually be the safer way to go, actually. Isn't that, like, fun? That might actually be the safer way to go. If we throw this here. Actually, I need that. I need that to find everything. Where's the candle? Oh, not candle. We need the lighter. And then we need the candle, which is here. Uh, I'm going to hold on to the camera. I'm going to hold... Oh, actually, hold on. We need to throw this out here, don't we? So we know our way back. Take that. There we go. We're nice and candlelit. James Miller. James Miller. Come after us, James Miller. I dare you to haunt us. I dare you to haunt us, James Miller. And that's the name, right? James Miller? I mean, it's a big map, so we could be like anywhere. And we're not in the ghost room by far. <laughs> we are totally playing it as cowardly as possible.
This campground is just too big. For, for us alone. I mean, it, it, there's definitely somebody who can do it. I, I'm not active. James Miller. James Miller. Come step on the salt, James Miller. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't take our invitation. Yeah, it's James Miller. Let's think of some. Let's think of some things to annoy them. What can we do to annoy the campground ghost? James Miller. James Miller. Are you there, James Miller? James Miller. James Miller. <laughs> I ran in a decent way. Yeah. Not enough. I mean, it's probably not a banshee, right? Because banshee could haunt us any time, or we wouldn't have banshee up. Let's see. If we can, we'd say that Arneo would probably would have haunted us, right? He's they can just whenever not Arneo, um, Gorio. Maybe he's no. What's it? Which one's the one that does not like hearing its name? Yokai, right? Well, anger increasing the chance of attack when hunting. Only if your voice is close to it. Twins can be angered. Often interact in the environment at the same time. I guess it could be the twins. Right? Because that would mean... Oop, we knocked off our, our flashlight. Yeah, let's turn that on. Place that there. I mean, it's not near us. I mean, that's the one thing about it being a big area. Is we know it's not near us. <laughs> Let's try one more time. James Miller. Are you there, James Miller? James Miller. James Miller, come to the front. James Miller, your mom is here to pick you up. John James Miller. Do not keep your mom waiting. She said you're going to go get ice cream. James Miller. Do you or do you not want ice cream? Do you want ice cream, James Miller? Do you or do you not? We're tempting him out with ice cream. I mean, it's an absolute lie. But he's not going to get any ice cream. But if we tempt him, maybe, uh, he'll give us some activity. Huh. <sighs> What to do? Put this there. Yeah, our cameras are all in the wrong spots. They gotta be. Now, the activity is high. So, let's actually try to use what we know. I don't think it is a... If we can cancel out what a yokai is. So, spear box, ghost orb, and dots projector. So, we already know that's probably wrong. Because we already saw something, right? That's EMF. I think it's EMF level 5. So that would be Spirit, Wraith, Jade, Shade, Oni, Goryo, the twins, Obake. Obake. I don't really know what Obake is. And Moiling. Let's, let's check Obake. It's a new one, right? Terrifying shapeshifters. Interacting with the environment can really leave a trace. You know what? We should really watch that salt. Because if it does step in that salt, we're in trouble. <laughs> because if we miss it, because that could tell us immediately if it's Obake, right? Because it's a shapeshifter, so it's probably got a weird kind of. Hey, are you an Obake, James Miller? Just by chance, are you? Just kind of curious. Are you an Obake? Just constantly ask him for advice. Let's put the camera on our head just for fun. So spooky ourselves out every time we walk back. There we go. Blind ourselves. Oh no. Oh no. Look what we've done. What have we done? We've looked into infinity. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's see. I have not gotten any kind of activity though. James Miller. 
Are you there, James Miller? James Miller, are you there? Are you there, James Miller? Give me a sign. I'm scared. Come on, give me a sign. I'm scared of you. James Miller, come on. <laughs> Say something. Do something, James Miller. I mean... Okay, I heard a step. I'm immediately going to that away. In fact, why is this thing not where it was where I remember it? Why is that facing toward the... That's actually spooky myself. I... <laughs> I remember having this face this way. Maybe I changed it. I think I changed it. Put that there. See if we got any... Anything. We've gotten absolutely nothing. I'm trying to call James Miller to the front of the line here. <laughs> in front of the, the campground. To try to give ourselves some even odds. But I'm not having any luck. We're doing... We're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find James Miller. We're gonna do, we're gonna spin, and we're gonna spin the stream finding out who James Miller is. James Miller. James Miller? Nope. And the, if I understand correctly, the candle means we can't, like, lose sanity. As long as we're holding it. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, I couldn't I just walk everywhere I wanted? Wait, what was that? What was that? I saw that I saw that light over on or over there. What was that? Did it just turn off the generator? Was that the generator? Okay, capture photo ghost. Get the blow out candle. And we're carrying a candle, right? So if you blew out my candle. You you know. We're in business. Blow out my candle, James Miller. Blow it out. I absolutely, you know, I dare you, James Miller. I heard him. <laughs> I heard something. I heard something move around. Is that poltergeist, maybe? I feel like things are getting thrown inside a building, and they can't do anything about it. I can't see it. Is the poltergeist an option that I have if it's EMF level 5? No. A gin and oni is, and isn't oni where it can like absolutely lob something at you? <laughs> I just wanted to walk through my carefully laid trap. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Fall for my trap? Come on, fall for it. Fall for it. My back is turned. My back is turned to you, James Miller. Come on, scare me, James Miller. Try. Just give it a shot. See if it's possible. No, he's not gonna. He's not coming at us. Might be because we just ha also have really high sanity. I mean, definitely doesn't like us saying its name. If that's a consolation. I mean, if, technically, okay. So that's a path. I mean, you guys can't see my finger, but if I uh, can't really turn this around either, turn. And that's the camera. That's a camera. That's what it is. So that must be a camera. Okay. So these are like two free cameras that are helping us out. Okay. That's kind of neat. I wonder if I could turn on that camp ground. Did step in our salt? No, it's not falling for a salt trap. I'll give him. I'll give him that. He's pretty smart on the salt trap game. James is giving us a run for our money. Alright, so I mean, I guess if we go forward directly, we could go to the... The thing is, I don't know if I could turn on the campfire. If I could turn on the campfire, that'd be pretty awesome. I don't know if I want to check now. <laughs> I don't know if I want to check. Come on. We're in some trouble if we check. That's all I gotta say. We could try. We have a lot of sanity to work with. We're at 90? Average 91? Oh, and we just had our thing get turned off, so... Do that.
Okay, we're going for it. I'm gonna try to turn on the campfire. Nope, doesn't work. Can't turn on the campfire, at least didn't give me an option to. Okay, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be the ghost. I think we found the ghost area. Ah, oh, and then we we just missed it, didn't we? So what what are we looking at? That's the ghost area. We, wait, do we not have something on that? No, that is one we do not have something on, right? And it's gotta be, right? I mean, I'm guessing. You can't blow out our candle. <laughs> I blew it. Uh, I just messed it up. Um, you know what? Let's... I want to pick up a... Okay, hold on. I need to put... I'm going to put this back where I can find it again. Okay, there we go. Grab this. And then we can pick up a camera. This camera is in a useless spot. Come on, pick it up. Okay, we're gonna drop this over there. I think that's the spot. We're going to put this over there. I'm guessing that's it. We're running. We're running. Back to the front. <laughs> but being quiet so we don't agitate him. Before we leave. There we go. Let's see if that's the spot. Is it turned something on in there? I guess we could be just guessing. It did, all it did it was turn something on. Doesn't mean it's the ghost room, so to speak. Or it may have already been on, to be honest. And let's watch for a second. See if anything happens. Whoop! Looked up at the ceiling there. Turn that off so you can get a good look. I don't. Is that like a like a record player or something? I don't really know what that was. My average sanity is pretty good still. So I guess we could go into it. We could go in and try to mess with it while holding a candle. We could do that. I think that might be the best decision here. Is everyone with me there? I think that that might be the best decision. Is we we go in with a candle. Oop, oh, okay. We go in with a candle. We mess with it, and if we if it works, we we'll know what it does. If not, you know, whatever. Okay, how do I turn this on? Can I turn it on? Oh, it's F. Yeah, we're going to check. Might try to spook us, but that's okay. It'll just be, it won't be a haunt, right? It's a Bunsen burner or something. Let's just take pictures. We might get money for this. <laughs> just take pictures of everything. Take pictures of it all, and then we have our light to help us out evidence. Oh, we only have two pictures left. Which we need for footprints if we can get it. And that's us coming into proximity. Right? That's us coming into proximity, I think. So it means it did not like that, though. Us running in there. So it's a Bunsen burner. I mean, it might not be something visible on camera. I mean, if it's not dots projector, we're not seeing it on that. 
so let's assume that, that it turned that on. And let's assume that that's the ghost room. Because that's the closest thing to a ghost room we know of. It's EM, it would be EMF level 5, no ghost orb, and no dots projector. Which would leave spirit... Jin Shade Miling. I've not seen fing seen fingerprints anywhere, but we we haven't seen in photos. Gone through all the photos. I wish I could. Uh, that'd be really neat if I could zoom in on that. And we could do run in and try to do uh, talking to him. No ghost writing. Oh, well, not yet. At least we don't know any of these. So if we assume that these two are wrong. Then it would be Myling, Twin, Shade, Jin, or Spirit. Oh, I just realized that's not jumping. That's closing the book. Okay, so we have a few options here. Oh no, I just took a picture. <laughs> We only have one picture left. Take, I'm putting that down. So I guess we could put the ghost writing book inside. And see if something happens. And if nothing happens, then, you know, that's either not the room. Let's run. We don't need to take a picture of the evidence, but hey, that's something. Now, which one is the... Okay, that's the one with the camera. Okay. Now, let's see if anything happens with the ghostwriting. We should be able to see a book levitate if it starts writing anything. Put those down. Let's see if we see a book levitate. I mean, that's our best bet. Because the something it turned the bunts it means the Bunsen burners on, which seems odd. I mean that might not be evidence. That might just be uh something that happens somehow. Our sanity's pr still pretty high, pretty decently high. Hmm. We could do the spirit box. We could do the spirit box, but if it answers, we're in some trouble. Is if it answers the spirit box, it'll put us low. Uh, it will, I believe that hurts our sanity. Correct? Where did I put that darn spirit box? We may have very well lost our spirit box. <laughs> Mistakes are definitely made. Or that or I didn't bring it. I could have just not brought it. No, I definitely brought it and forgot it. Let's put that here and then pick up the good flashlight and see if I can find it. No. Well, there's a crucifix. Smudge stick. I could just throw that in for fun. We could smudge it, see what happens. And that's possible. Yeah, that's always something we could do. Smudge it. I don't see the... the we might have to do this without a spirit box. <laughs> I just realized I may have lost our spirit box. Yes, the spirit box I don't think is an option. I think it has been... Taken by the ghost or something. I'll blame the ghost for it. How about that? A parabolic mic. Set it over there. Ooh, well, what just happened? Isn't something there? Oh no, that's just the candle went out. Did he blow that? Did they blow it out? Was that him blowing it out? No, it just went out. 
I was gonna say that would have been that would have been gold. <laughs> Okay, let's throw... When throwing the crucifix in, in there isn't going to really do anything to but make me feel a little safer. Okay, let's run. Well, and we're, we're putting all our eggs on this basket. <laughs> we're, we're really putting all our eggs into that basket. I mean, if it is one, isn't that one that if you smudge it, it has to go back to its room? I think that's one of them. I don't know what happened to our spirit box. Our spirit box is between the collective. Oh, here we go. You have a spirit box now. We have reclaimed the spirit box. What is our sanity looking like? I wish I could take one more item because then I could take the sanity pills and that'd be very helpful. If I get an answer, I think it's not gonna be good for us. Because if it's something that can if it's something that can attack us early. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run in and switch and then see what I get. Let's run. Okay, start it again. Are you here? Is this your room? Is this your room? Is this your room? James Miller? Is this you? Okay, let's run. No, that, I, don't, I think it just turned something on and we're on a red herring. I think we're on a red herring, guys. <laughs> I, think we, I think we're on a red herring. Sad to say. Sad to see it. Wait, why does that suddenly feel like we have a lot more light Hasn't that light in the back grown? I mean, is that in, like the one on the other side of it or something? I guess there's a little light in there. Okay, so I think we're gonna just try to say what weapons if it's not a spirit box. Not spirit box, gin, shade, myling. We have no way of knowing writing or anything. Oh, I, I you know I didn't check the writing. There's that. I didn't check the writing. What's our sanity looking like? It's doing all right. We're gonna assume that that's the room. We're gonna operate on the assumption that that's the room. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take. What else do I need to take in there if it would work? I need to take temperatures. I feel like it's not gonna be anything spectacular, but we could. Let's go ahead and take a temperature in there. Let's try. Let's see what you're in here. Not, not cold at all. This can't be the room. Uh, that's not even cold at all. I don't think it could be the room. It'd be like sub ten normally, right? It was like easily over fourteen. It's usually like normal temperature. I mean, it's getting really angry every time I walk in, acting as if I'm passing the room or going through the room or something. I'm like tapping on it somehow. Something I'm doing is like so close on it. Ooh, hold on. It's cold in here. That's what's throwing me off. So we can get down to six and nine. He down in here. It's gonna. It would have to be real freezing. 
So I'm gonna say it's not freezing temperatures. It would make it a mile. We're gonna see. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna see if we guessed it. Because we had no fingerprints. Oh no, it would have to be fingerprints and ghost writing. And that means that we just. It was just because we didn't catch it. James Miller, come at me. This is the last opportunity you have, James Miller, before we leave. I'm just gonna call you a miling. Do you want to be called a miling, James Miller? You're going to be the Myling James Miller. Got that? Myling James Miller. I hope you appreciate that. <sighs> Come out, you coward. Come on. Come on, coward. Come on. Come on. Step in the salt. Come on. James Miller. I'm like I stepped into something. We spooked, spooked me out for a second. Now we're not getting any, any more luck. Let's see. And none of our cameras are showing anything useful. I mean, it could be that's just ever in the cabin. It could be that's never in the campground, maybe? Or can it be the campground hallways? Like, each hallway? I feel like if I knew more about the campground, I'd be... I mean, it could even just be in the hallway, and I'm somehow missing it. That's a walkway ghost of some kind? You know what I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go ahead take some of those. I mean it's way too early for that, but sure, whatever. And we're gonna move one to look into the hallway. I'm gonna move this one. There we go. Let's see how that works. That light's going on because we're passing over it. Okay. Let's see if that uh, gives us a new perspective on anything. So, theoretically, I could, if it was in a hallway, I could see the ghost orb. I'm not thinking that that's going to happen. And it's actually looking at the other tent. I think we're calling it a miling and calling it a day. <laughs> I think we did enough hunting to guess. Woo. It's a miling. We haven't found the evidence, but... Oh, actually, hold on. It blew out a candle. It did blow out our candle. So we're leaving with money no matter what. Hold on, can I uh, take a picture of that for evidence? <laughs> I'm going to... Take a picture of the candle and see if that makes evidence. He gave us something. You know what, James Myling? Maybe we're wrong about you. Maybe, you're, maybe you, you know, maybe you're a cool guy, James Myling. All right, James, I call him James Myling. Myling Miller. I mean, that's gotta be it. I mean, his name even works. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the camera. I don't know. Don't know if that's going to be it. It's our last. It's our last thing at evidence. We're going to see if that get, that gave us evidence. No, it did not. So we took a lot of pictures. We got a ghost to blow out a candle. Clinch area near ghost using smudge sticks. That would actually hold on. That would tell us that was his place, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that tell us that it was his case, his place? If I threw smudge sticks, wouldn't that give us a final answer? That would. You know, we're gonna we're not leaving until we smudge him. Right, we're we're gonna try to smudge him, and if we got him, then we know. Smudge area near ghost. Okay, if I just can find my smudge stick. Which is probably gonna be harder. What the heck is that? That's a camera. Find where my smudge stick went. But I didn't burn it up already. Where is that smudge stick? I want to burn a smudge stick and then call it. Where is it? Come on, smudge stick, where'd you go? 
Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna try to burn it. We're gonna put a smudge stick in and hopefully what is his home. And if not, we'll know we got got played by the ghost. And we can leave with giving him a congratulate you know, congratulatory congratulatory goodbye. <laughs> How about that? Okay, we got all that salt and no one to step in it. Do we smudge him? We did not smudge him. We were we were fooled. He played us like a fiddle. Okay, so we were wrong. That was not the ghost room. Or he's not in the ghost room if it is. Alright, so, well, that was fun though, Hunton James Miller. Let's see if we got it right, Daisy Moiling. Um, it's not ghost room, so a lot of our evidence isn't going to be super reliable. So it's really a shot in the dark, a 1 in 20 chance that we get him. We get him. But it's something. So we're going to just uh, call it. I got it on Moiling, right? Yep, we're going to say, we're going to call Moiling. Yep, let's see what we get. Well, he got very angry there for a second. Oh, hold on. What was he? Let's see. Uh oh. It was a shade! <laughs> it was a shade the whole time. It was just a shade. Yeah, I should have probably guessed it. It being so, it was so, it was so uninterested in interacting with us. Let's leave that. Is so uninterested in interacting with us, so that should have been should have been able to guess that. Can I pick any of these up? No. Is there any of that? Ooh. That messed around with something. Okay, cool. Well that was a whole lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it. It was even if we didn't even if we messed up at the end, we didn't quite get him. Still, we got we he did blow out a candle for us. So, you know, James Miller. He was kind of a nice shade. He didn't want to. He didn't want to attack us. He was just kind of. He was hanging out. He was not really interested in messing with us. So have a great one. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it was a lot of fun watching. Um, it was interesting checking out the campsite. I mean, maybe next time I'll check out more of the campsite, and so I can give it like a tour. Like we can do a tour of the place. It would be funny to kind of go through like as if you're a real estate agent trying to sell all these houses. In between the ghost trying to mess with you. Like, as you can see over here, this is a, not a ritual circle. <laughs> and we can open up this guy. Uh, he didn't make it. Uh, he's the last tenant. Very dirty. You know, not, not, was not taking care of the place. So, this it's saying that this thing came from out here. Oh, and this is pictures from the. That's our pictures from this last one. That's cool. Cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you had a great one. See you all later. All right. Bye.